All right, so as we've talked about in previous lessons, it's been all about searching the internet and strategies to best assist you when it comes time for your report and looking for information. Now, we've done this in the past and we have searched and our results haven't been the best because we might have done something too uh, precise. The it might have been a full-on question instead of keywords. So in the previous two lessons, you learned how to dial down or narrow down your search. And if you need to, revert back to those lessons in order to do this because this is our practice. This is where we're going to apply the knowledge that we learned. So what we need to find out is when and where was Buffalo Bill born? So what I want you to do is go and open up a Google search tab and then when you're done, push pause so you don't lose anything and type in something for Buffalo Bill. All right, now that you're back, did you find the results you were looking for? If you didn't, this is what you could have done. And you're going to go return to the Google, Google search engine and do this. When and where was Buffalo Bill born? So if we look at this sentence, we need to pull out keywords from what we really want. So if you look Buffalo Bill, if we remember in the previous lesson, it's a proper noun and that's something you look for. So that's something you pull out, Buffalo Bill. And then you notice um, biography would be where we expect to find this. So it's not in a key word, but biography we know is a story or uh, something written about a specific person. Um, and you want to keep few words, so Buffalo Bill first, since it's the most unique, and we want quotation marks around that because we really want to search for that, because if we didn't have quotation marks, Buffalo would be, because we know that's a, an animal, and Bill might be coming up with uh, previous president Bill Clinton or something like that. So this is what you should have put into your search. In quotation marks, Buffalo Bill biography. Now notice, Buffalo Bill is a proper noun, but we didn't have to use the proper noun etiquette in capitalizing your words. So then this next one, I want you to pay attention because you just saw and learned what you need to do in order to search properly. I'm going to be testing you again and you're going to it, we'll see if you can find the best results. Remember, use these skills that we had. We use keywords, we pull it out. We put the most uh, unique words first and we use quotation marks for the best search results. Okay. This is what you could have typed into your Google search engine. And if you didn't, please push, push pause and go do that. And in your Google, or in your report notes, I'd like you to write down when and where Buffalo Bill was born. So now that you're back, we're gonna go into the next one. So you have your report notes document open, you have a Google tab open, and we're going to practice again. Remember the skills that you learned about 30 seconds ago or even yesterday. How can I contact one of my US senators? Push pause and go type something into your Google search. Okay, we're returning back. This is what you could have typed and if you didn't get the best results, this will help you. So hopefully you used keywords. Now Missouri, that's another state. You could have used Vermont, US, that's where you live, that's the, the country, and those are both the proper nouns, and senator, okay? So few words, M Missouri first, since most unique. So you could have used Vermont, New York, something, a state. So the successful quarry would be Missouri, US senator. Um, I'd like you to go type into your Google search Vermont US Senator and then go write your answer in your report notes and this is what it would look like if you need uh, an example okay now coming back we have two more to go hopefully each one of these is getting better and better your search results are improving how long did it take the first person to cross the U.S. by car, and in what year was it done? Now the searches are getting a little bit harder, so you're going to need to really think about keywords. What's going to help you answer that question? Okay, put it into your Google search, 
Not the whole question, mind you, but something that will be specific. Use your proper nouns. Find something that's important that you need to know. Okay, going on to the next one. Push pause if uh, after every question. Because now that you're back, we're going to, this is what you could have done. So if you look at specific words, keywords, first is the when. And thinking about yesterday or the time before, whenever we did the lesson, we need to do figure out who, what, when, where, why, and how. Those questions, those assist us. So the when is the first. Um, cross US is the proper noun. Drive is the how. Now, a few keywords. First is most unique, because you're looking for the first time somebody did something. Then we go into synonyms and related terms. Now, cross, that has multiple meanings. Cross, you could have a cross uh, as in, in your church, or cross, um, you cross a, a line. It has multiple meanings. So instead of using that word, we could change it to across. So clarify query using search results. A search using car gives a lot of first car information. So drive is a better word, not just car, because you could be talking about the first car ever made. So this is your search if you didn't get this before. First across US drive. First across US drive. Type that into your Google search and get find the answers and write them down in your, in your report notes. And this is what it would look like in a Google search. Push pause and then return when you're done. Okay, coming back now, what we're going to do is last question. What do the eggs of a cardinal look like? Eggs of a cardinal. Push pause and go put this find the keywords and put them in the Google search okay final coming back what do eggs of a cardinal look like keywords cardinal and eggs first few words cardinal is the most unique put it first because that's the type of egg you're looking for synonyms and related terms baseball hmm so cardinal if we do that there's a baseball team called the Cardinals or even a football team called the Cardinals. So you might have a high result of that. So you do minus baseball or minus football, etc. So Cardinal eggs minus baseball. Now remember that minus baseball is the meaning that it's taking it away. Now find your answer and plug it into the Google report notes. And this is what your search would look like. Cardinal eggs minus baseball. Hopefully, you found the right answers. We'll talk about the answers um, in class, so be ready to share.